I had somebody ask a question about how the backup camera is wired up in the tractor. For my monitor, the red wire was the power wire, the black wire is the ground. Just find yourself a good ground and you can use one of these wire terminals that's designed to go over a stud or a bolt. Come down to your fuse box and find a fuse that does not have power with the key off. You can see with the key on, I now have power. Check your fuse box diagram and be sure that the fuse you're going to be tapping is not something too important like your starter relay or your fuel stop solenoid. In my case, it was the windshield wiper fuse. Now that we found what fuse we're going to be using, we need to find out which side has the power with the key on. If you tap the wrong side of the fuse and there's a short with the monitor, the fuse won't blow and it could cause a fire. So take your test light and stick it in on one side of the fuse. Turn the key on. I have power on the left side and nothing on the right side. So since I don't have power on the right side, we'll use the fuse tap on the right side. Here's what a fuse tap looks like for a miniature fuse. You can see it slides up over the blades of the fuse. And you can either solder your wire or you can use one of these quick spade terminals. Here's a little better look at a fuse tap for a ATO fuse. You can see a spade terminal slides right over it. If you want, you can solder it like this one, and then maybe your factory fuse box cover will still go. The fuse taps are available at any auto parts store. And for your backup camera, there's a red and black wire. Again, your red wire is your power wire, your black wire is your ground wire. You might be able to get lucky and find something that only has power with the key on up in the roof of your tractor and it will already be fused or you can run the wires back down to your fuse box and use the fuse tap method like I already showed. Then you just have two wires for the picture of the camera, a red and yellow wire. You just the red wire hooks to the red wire for your picture and the yellow wire hooks to the yellow wire. And when you run your wiring, try to do a nice clean job on it and be sure it's not going to get pinched. Just ran it down through the back of the dash, down to the fuse box. Then for the camera wires for the picture, they run down over underneath the floor mat, up through here, up through the B pillar, up through the top of the tractor over and there's this opening here in the back for the rear windshield wiper they come down out and over to the camera if you need to run your wires through any holes you can buy little grommets if you have any exposed wiring you can use some wire loom to make it look nice and clean and keep it from getting tangled up in anything